Reggie here, and I want to welcome you to another installment of the top 10 most submitted books into CGC video. This is a series that I've been doing for well over a year now, in which we look at those books that we are sending in to be graded by CGC. And in this video, we're going to look at some books in the top 20, and we're really going to focus on those that are in the top 10. Before I get to the list, I want to take a moment to acknowledge the sponsor of this video, Hip Comic. Every single week, there are auctions on Hip Comic for rare and also key comics comics starting at just 99 cents. Here's the thing, they also have a massive inventory of over 1 million comics. If you haven't yet hit up Hip Comic, I encourage you to do so today. There is a link down in the description. Check them out after you watch this video. Stay tuned. For the second month in a row, we have eight books on the extended list of 20 that are from the 80s or older. And this, honestly, I think is a wonderful thing. One of the early questions that we had about this series when it started was if the list was going to be dominated by modern comics. And by and large, there have been a lot of modern comics on the list, but as of late, there has been an increasing number, month over month, of older books creeping into the list. And for the last two months, as I mentioned, there have been at least eight from the 80s or older. And instead of making you wait until the end of the video to find out which books were outside of the top 10 that were older, I'm actually going to run down those books for you right now. The very first book that we see on the list outside of the top 10 is Wolverine issue number one from the ongoing series, which was released in 1988. Next up, Amazing Spider-Man issue number 300 also from 1988. And the oldest book on the list, Nova, issue number one from 1976. And last, but certainly not least, is Savage She-Hulk issue number one from 1980. Number 10 on the list is The Amazing Spider-Man issue number 252 from 1984. This book is the first appearance of the black Spider-Man suit in the regular series. At present, there are roughly 17,000 graded copies of this book on the CGC census. A 9.8 currently has an FMV of $1,900 with a 30-day average sitting at just about 2000 This book is an iconic cover. It is an homage to Amazing Fantasy issue number 15 and honestly is a must have for any Spider-Man collector. Number nine is Wolverine issue number one from the limited series from 1982. As reported earlier this month, the total number of graded copies is slightly more than 21,000 total copies whereas the current 30-day average has decreased by $13 to currently sit at $864. It should be noted that the last few sales for Wolverine issue number one have actually been above this average, so potentially that downward trend is reversing itself, but we'll have to see how this develops over the next few months. Number eight, Ultimate Fallout issue number four. The first appearance of Miles Morales is on the list for a second month in a row. This book continues to retain its value. And as you look at the graded copies from a 9.8 all the way down to a 7.0, what you see is that the 30-day average is above the FMV at every single point. The current census count for this comic sits at 13,427 total graded copies. Number seven for the seventh month in a row is Moon Knight issue number one from 1980. Last month, this book was in the 13th spot on the list, but has leapfrogged big time. At present, there are roughly 8,000 copies of this book on the census. And as submissions have continued to hit CGC, this book's value appears to be declining. From an 8.5 to a 9.8, what you see is that the one-year average is higher than the 90-day, which is higher than the 30-day. 
And with the exception of an 8.5, the current FMV is also lower than the 30 day average. Put another way, this book is sliding down in terms of its overall value as more and more books are flowing into CGC. Number six on the list is X-Men issue number one from 1991. In March, this book was in the second spot but has fallen a bit as other books have been submitted. With that said, there are currently 11,239 graded copies of this book on the census. And my guess is that this book is going to stay on the list for the next few months as we get closer to the Jim Lee signing event that's taking place at CGC. Number five is Amazing Spider-Man issue number 361 from 1992. At present, there are 25,433 graded copies of this book on the census. The 9.8 currently has a 30-day average of $567. Number four, moving up one spot from last month is Venom Lethal Protector issue number one. There are currently 15,131 total graded copies of this book on the census with, get this, 44 copies graded, either a 10.0 or a 9.9. .9. A 9.8 .9 has a current 30-day average of just $154. Number three on the list, Marvel Superhero Secret War, issue number eight from 1984. At present, there are 21,817 total graded copies of this book on the CGC census. At present, this book has a 30-day average of $821, which is higher than both the 90-day and the one-year average for this book. This is just a wonderful key issue that has significance as it is the origin of the alien symbiote that eventually became Venom, which begat Carnage, which begat Noel, the symbiote god. My guess is that this book will continue to stay on the list, especially with all of the speculation that the Doctor Strange movie has introduced or set up the possibility of secret wars coming to the MCU. I would not be surprised if we actually see some other Secret War related comics start to make the list in future months. Number two, up from one spot in March is Spawn issue number one from 1992. As I reported in the last video, the value of this book appears to be declining as well. At virtually every grade, there is a decline from the one year to the 90 day to the 30 day average. And number one on the list is She-Hulk issue number two, volume five from the BAM box. This book is the virgin edition comic that the BAM box is going to include for its members. And I honestly have no clue what this book actually looks like. So if you are a BAM box subscriber, whenever this book gets released, please send me a photo of it on Instagram so I can know what it actually looks like. But what's really interesting is that this is the second month that we actually have a She-Hulk book on the list. And if you paid attention, we actually had two on this month's list, but last month was the very first time that She-Hulk has ever made this list in more than a year that I've been doing this video series. And I think part of the reason for that is because of maybe the excitement around the Disney Plus show that is starting. We actually got a good look at the trailer just recently, and I think people are pretty excited about it. And potentially, we're going to see some additional She-Hulk comics flow onto the list. As we wrap up here, I again want to acknowledge the sponsor of this video, Hip Comic. And I also want to tell you that many of the books that were showcased in this video are available on Hip Comic in both raw and graded format. There is a link down in the description. Check them out now that the video is over. If you need to reach out to me, feel free to do so on Instagram at Reggie Collects. Take care. Rolling, 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 rolling.